Welcome back to a video here on the second channel. We are checking out the new resource pack over on the main channel. I put out a tutorial on how you can download and add this into your resource packs folder. We are now going to go through everything in the in the resource pack one by one, look at all the textures and check it all out. So let's hop into a world and do that. That world was supposed to be the debug world. Unfortunately, it crashed and so I had to copy all of the blocks out of it and put them into this world and it seems to be stable now which is great. What we're going to be doing here is flying through and looking at all the blocks one by one and then we'll also after that be checking out mobs, we'll be looking at the blocks in the natural world and we will be looking at all the items as well and I'll probably put some markers or something on the screen to indicate where those parts of the video are going to be. One last thing to mention before we dive into it though is that I'm in Minecraft 1.12 and that we are not using Optifine so we're looking at the Vanilla game here with the resource pack. So this is how the game might look in the future. First of all, we've got stone looking absolutely fine. Uh, these changes, most of them I'm fine with. Granite looks pretty good. Dirt right here looks actually quite interesting. I feel like this block might be quite fun to build with now. So that feels like a big improvement on the polished dirt, right? The granite and the smooth granite, nice and easy. That's going to be easy to build with still. Um, some of these don't look like they've been changed at all. You know, the grass ones look absolutely fine. Same for the dirt. Corstert, Podzol, I don't need to read them all out, do I? They look pretty much like they did before. Cobblestone is one that's changed a lot, and I'm actually not a big fan of that. It's a little too bubbly for my liking. Uh, but moving on to the woods, I think these woods look absolutely fine. They're great, really, really like it. And then we've got all of the saplings. I think these actually look fantastic. You know what ones they are just by looking at it, and they're all pretty cool and distinct. I'm very disappointed, though, that bedrock hasn't changed. I mean, that's the ugliest texture in the game, basically, and it hasn't been touched. I can't believe it. Uh, water over here as well doesn't look like it's been touched, and you can see it's got all the different um, heights of water, basically, because this is all copied from the debug world. So, whizzing down to the end here, we've got some more lava, and then we have pistons, we have dispensers, and possibly droppers as well. Um, these are like the broken piston bits, like where the arm extends. And all of these, I'd say, they're kind of all right, but they, I don't know... The cobblestone, again, the way the cobblestone is done, I'm not a fan of. So the pistons and the dispensers, that part of it doesn't look too good to my eyes, but uh, I can live with it, you know. Uh, over here, this one's super interesting. Look at it, lapis. I mean, I like that texture, but it's a big step away from what we had before. I think that's going to be a nice texture to build with in the long run. Um, the fire is making a lot of sound, isn't it? We've got the lapis ore there and this glass texture. I am a huge fan of that. I think that that looks great. I really do. I think that's awesome. Maybe a tiny bit too many pixels, but you need to have pixels going all the way around the outside. So I'm I'm stoked with that. That's a really nice change. Uh, then we've got the sponge and the wet sponge, which I think, although they look different, they look a little bit more buildable than the previous ones. Not that they were textures you would probably jump and build with. Um, we've got leaves here, and remember we're seeing leaves with the yellow background of the sandstone, so they look a little bit odd. They look nicer when they got green behind them, and all of that's looking pretty rad. I like all of these leaf locks, they're nice. Um, sticky pistons back here, really disappointed not to see the sticky stuff on the side of the piston head, because that was actually something that made its way... Um, to Jasper who retextured these. So if you don't know, I have vanilla tweaks on my website, assumeavoid.com, that will let you select loads of different changes, tweaks, minor things to the game and how it looks. And one of those is to put the sticky texture on the side of the sticky piston. And Jasper was actually redirected to that. And I think directly um, someone said, hey, you know, do this when you retexture them on Twitter. I remember it. Jeez, it was a thing that happened, okay? Um, I'm really disappointed that that isn't in because that's just such a nice thing to have. Remember, you can't tell that it's a sticky when it's like that. Anyway, um, I'm getting distracted a little bit. The rail texture looks pretty much identical to me. Uh, then you've got the bark blocks all looking all right. Maybe a little bit too harsh here and there. I feel like I should stop giving my opinion and maybe just focus on getting through all of these blocks, right? Because you're all going to form your own opinions on what you're seeing here. And you don't need to hear me waffle on. Um, yeah, all of that looks good. Gravel's kind of nice. The sand and uh, the red sand looking good. And then we've got all of that lava. Okay, and then back to dispensers and all the stuff we've seen before. We've got sandstone. That is mm, not sure. Half nice, half not. It's the way the cobblestone is done. I'm not a fan of that. And whenever something's got something similar to cobblestone, I'm not too sure about it. 
Then we've got that texture, this one over here looking very smooth and fine. And then that is a note block. That's, oh, there was supposed to be a bed there. Is that a retextured bed? It is. Look, it's got a little pillow rest on it. That's that's interesting. <laughs> um, yeah, the note blocks. The note block, I don't know. I'm not too keen on that, actually. Then again, it could be interesting to build with. Uh, then behind these, we've got all of the slabs. We've got the double slabs over here. Bricks are looking pretty cool. I like that, actually. That looks a little bit more buildable again. I think all of these changes are absolutely fine. Quartz, wow. Quartz looks a little bit more marbly. It doesn't look as soft, does it? Oh, that's very nice. I actually think that's a really nice change right there. Okay, okay. And then we've seen most of these already. TNT looks a little bit more vibrant and fun. <laughs> I like that one a lot. That's a good change. Bookshelves. Eh, pretty much as they were before. Mossy Cobblestone. Love that. That is that is a much better colour for Mossy Cobblestone to have. Totally on board with that. Then we've got Obsidian. Not sure if I like that or not. Kind of looks a bit like the coal block texture that we, we know. Uh, the torch doesn't seem to have changed at all. And then we've got stupid amounts of, uh, of fire. Although we have... Yeah, I've skipped over a couple here, haven't I? We've got some of the different wall textures. They sort of look like before. Yeah, they don't look like they've changed too much at all. Uh, then we've got flowers. Wow, check this out. Let's get these things out of our way. It's looking pretty cool. I like all of these. Oh, I'm, I'm destroying stuff I shouldn't be destroying now. I think there was a dead bush. I, uh, I just destroyed the dead bush and the cobweb by mistake. Both of those look cool. All of these shrubs are pretty interesting. That's a fern. It's a little bit wider than it was before. It's got these little sprouts coming out the side. Yeah, I like all of this. Uh, the mushrooms, mm, a little bit too magic-y for my liking. That flower, I'm not so keen on that one. But the rest of them... Looking alright. Just want to make sure you get a good look at each of the textures, you know, while I give you my thoughts. Totally not a fan of this. That just looks plasticky and yuck. No. Um, nice texture to build with in certain locations. Doesn't scream gold at me. Screams plastic yellow. Uh, the iron block here barely looks like it's changed. That's absolutely fine. That block I'm not sure we have access to in the game. Uh, maybe in creative mode we do now. I forget. And so those are some of the slabs doubled up. Right, so then we've got massive rows of fire and we've got loads of redstone all in their different damage values. Um, over here, loads of the different stair blocks in different positions. So we kind of see that. That is something that I want to see. That is the monster spawner block. I can't middle click on it. Um, doesn't it look really cool? I like that. It looks a lot more menacing and scary. <laughs> all right then, so flying onto all of these textures, what do we have here? We've got the diamond door, a diamond block, again, totally not a fan of that. Looks like you could build with it on occasions to me, but uh, I no, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, that don't work for me. Crafting bench, awesome, looks great, got no problems with that. Then we've got some of the crops growing over here. This is wheat. I actually really like the way it changes from green, like the yellow starts to creep in a little bit. And then it goes full on yellow. I think that's really, really nice change. Um, this is farmlands looking mm, a little bit. I don't know how to describe that, but I don't think. Yeah, I don't think I'm too keen on that. It's all right. Then we've got the furnace. The furnace looks good. Again, it's the cobblestone texture for me that throws me off on that one. And then we've got the lit furnace, which has actually had that bit of the bottom changed, right? But the particle effects haven't changed. That's another thing, or has it? Have they changed particle effects? I'm going to have to go through and look at all of those textures, I guess. Uh, over here we've got the new ladder texture. Kind of looks pretty much like the same, uh, the one before. Same for the rails. The rails don't really feel like they've changed too much. And then we've got the tops of all these doors. Uh, then we've got stairs. Cactus texture. Looks nice. The snow, I think I prefer the original snow. I think there's just a little too much of that sort of uh, aqua colour. Like, it's like a greeny blue. Some people call it green, some people call it blue. Turquoise. Maybe that's what we want to call it. We've got the repeater texture over here. That's all right. Pretty much doing the same job as it did before. It's looking okay. Uh, but not to get distracted, let's go from right to left. Uh, we've got ice. Regular ice there. That looks very nice, that texture. I'm cool with that. Very smooth looking. And we've got some floaty buttons. Uh, it's kind of hard, like, not to get distracted by the textures behind as we go across from side to side, right? So, redstone torches, levers here. Yeah, sort of looks alright. It's the cobblestone texture again, but you don't get to see a lot of it on that one. Redstone ore. 
looks okay-ish. It looks a lot more glowy, doesn't it? So, it, yeah, it gives off particle effects and light when you stand on it, but the texture there has already got the glow built into it if you look around the red. And I don't actually like that. I think it should um, be much more like the other ones. So we've got pressure plates, then we have a bunch of doors, cobblestone, stairs, cactuses. <laughs> Why are there so many of these? Maybe for all the different growth stages. Then we've got our repeaters. So clay texture. Um, I think it's okay. I don't know what to say about that one. Don't know what to say about that one. Sugar canes looking absolutely fine. Then we got the jukebox, which is kind of like the the note block, right, with the different texture on top. Yeah, that's that's an interesting one. Fence posts are going to have the texture of the woods. Over here we got the pumpkins. That's that's all right. I think that looks good. What about the? Well, I guess if we just look at the other side, it's like a regular pumpkin because this is now going to be carved pumpkin in the future. If you haven't been keeping up with the update videos, uh, netherrack. That is somehow worse. <laughs> that is somehow a lot worse than it ever was. Goodness me. I think the reds and the pinks in there are just not right. The pinks are a little bit too pale. And those spots are dark red. Nah, really not on board with that one. Soul Sands? No. Um, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's so hard, man. It's like... You're so used to these other textures. I feel like salt sand was a weird texture to begin with. I mean, this has got its own quality to it, right? Like, it's it's kind of like a spooky wallpaper. It doesn't feel like salt sand. It feels like a spooky wallpaper. Uh, then we've got glowstone. Actually, probably not that bad, but I wish that they had just ditched what glow glowstone looked like to begin with. Uh, that's an improvement on glowstone. I'm just not a fan of what glowstone looks like. Uh, we've got portal blocks here, which don't look like they've changed. Oh, oh, jeez, I'm going to have to edit the video. Well, that's reminded me that I should go into the end and the never later on. <laughs> um, that's, hmm. Ah, it just looks a little, I think I think the, the yellow is too flat back there. But yeah, that's that's the problem I have with that texture. The yellow just looks a little too flat. Cake over here, I like the swirl. It's got cherries on top, can't complain with that. Uh, we've got glass over here. This doesn't really look like it's changed that much. Maybe it's the little stripes going across that have been tweaked. I can't help but feel that hasn't actually changed. I, I can't remember. Uh, either way, that's that's kind of alright. Not too bad, I guess. Because it's transparent, you can get away with the streaks on it. Uh, these are glass panes. Let's just stretch them out. Yeah, I like that. That works. That's cool. Um, is that melons or pumpkins growing over there? Iron bars. Let's check out iron bars. Um, they haven't changed the shape at all. The texture's slightly different. A little bit more contrast heavy. I don't feel like that's an improvement, but it's not terrible. Okay, going down here, what we got? Ooh, what is that? That's the mushroom block. Hi, I'd really like to pick that and place more of it. Maybe I should grow a mushroom here. New mycelium texture. Looks just as ugly as the one before. If anything, it looks a little bit more purposeful as an ugly texture. Uh, so there's a giant mushroom. Yeah, I like that. That's alright. I think the one thing to take away from looking at these textures individually is that they're going to look a lot nicer when they're in the world together. And that's something I thought a moment ago when I popped through to the never. So here we've got chiseled stone bricks. It's looking alright. Looking a bit more worn down than before, I think. Yeah, that's actually really good. Cracked, maybe the cracks are a little too obvious. Uh, I like that, that's nice. Yeah, all of these are looking pretty good. Over here to the trapdoor, that's weird. There's a weird looking trapdoor. <laughs> I don't know what's weird about that. It's because it's slightly darker, I think, around the edges. Aha, the melon. I love this texture. <laughs> uh, I think I liked it when it had a lot more green in it. We've seen some of these textures been developed. Yeah, actually, do you know what? I was a fan of it when it had more green because it looked like you could use it to build with a little bit. Now it kind of looks like terrible wallpaper decisions if you were to use it for anything other than a melon. You know, that's the way you've got to look at blocks and textures and things in this game is often how you can use it in places it wasn't quite intended for. Um, so over here we've got the, the trap doors that open. We've got stairs. Brewing stand over here with potions in it. That is... That looks more interesting than a regular blueing stand to me. I like that one. That's that's awesome. The potions in there look really cool as well. We've got sandstone stairs over here. The cauldron. Wow. Okay. That is quite something, isn't it? I think I'm on board with that. I feel like a lot of these textures are a little bit more contrast heavy 
than we used to sometimes. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm just saying whatever comes into my head because I'm making a video where we just look at textures. Uh, emerald blocks. And then particle effects. What is this over here? Oh, it's an ender chest. Right. That doesn't look like it's changed. Uh, you can see it has changed a little bit. What about when we open it? Hmm. It's hardly changed at all, really. Um, right, so the dragon egg kind of looks like the same old dragon egg. Endstone looks okay-ish. Redstone lamps, that's a big change. That is a big change, isn't it? I'm not so keen on that one. I feel like I like the old one a lot more. Nothing wrong with this texture, just it feels a little bit too different. Uh, then we've got the wood textures we've seen already again. We've got tripwire here, which pretty much looks like exactly what it did before. So, um, I don't think we've checked out nether brick properly, have we? We've got some of the cocoa beans, which have changed by the looks of it. They look nice. Um, and then down the end here, we've got nether warts. Aha! They look kind of alright. Kind of alright. Be interesting to see what they look like on soul sand, I think. Let's chuck them down. And then we've got to grow them, and we can't use bone meal. Never mind, never mind. I've turned off random ticks in this world so they won't grow um, because otherwise the water and the lava start spreading around everywhere. Enchantment table? Nah, not feeling that too much. I mean, it's not the worst. I'm not a fan of the obsidian texture. And that's actually one of them without the book on top of it. Has the book texture changed? It has. I think the pages look different to me and they look quite nice. So I'm on board with that. Um, we've got a new command block texture since it's a technical block. I don't think you can really go wrong with that. That looks absolutely fine to me. Uh, flower pots, lots and lots of them. Oh, they're supposed to have... Look at this. If I middle click on it, it makes the thing appear. Right. Oh, it's a shame the debug world didn't generate properly. Cactus looks interesting in there. Now, that would be a cactus that's different from, you know, the actual block. Because these are the saplings just put. These are like the same things put inside the pot. That has to be created differently. I don't know if that's... The shape of it is taken from the original texture, or if it's been purposefully retextured. Uh, but these look good. So yeah, the flower pot works with things in it. We're not going to sit here and click that all day. Got mossy walls over here, and regular walls. Not a fan of the cobblestone, but I love, love the colour of the moss. That's that's the perfect colour that the moss could ever be. So it looks like it's flower pots all the way down to the end. Then we have anvils. Hello, hi. Um, that's a nice texture. I think maybe maybe this is a bit too much going on on the top. It could be a little bit smoother. We should have this over here. These are going to be renamed, I believe. They renamed them from slightly damaged, like Cracked Anvil. Um, yeah, I feel like maybe the cracking in the anvil is a little too obvious there. But it's looking good. We've got the this one. Is that changed? I don't think that's changed. I think maybe, no, it has. Maybe the colours are just slightly different, but it's pretty much the same thing. Got rails over here. This one to my eyes looks just slightly more different than I remember it, especially when it's powered. Look at that. Bright red going on over here. Got the comparator. The bit in the middle is a little bit more pinkish than I remember. That's interesting. And the quartz texture again. What did I say about it? It looks a little bit stronger, a little bit more marbly. I like it. Um, we've got the glass panes, so we've already seen some of those ones already. Yeah, they're pretty much as before. Um, so loads of leaf blocks again. Then we've got the different woods rotated in different directions. Got lots of stairs. Has that changed? I believe it has, yeah. That looks like it's changed. That's alright, that's... Yeah, pretty much like it was before. Maybe some of those squares, can you see them there? A little bit too much for me, but... Uh, you know, when, when things change, you just you react to them, don't you? Uh, sometimes good, sometimes it's bad. Maybe I'm getting a bit over dramatic here with all the little details, but I'm just going to like point out the things that I see. We've seen the drop already. Uh, we've got glow gold pressure plates. I think they look absolutely ugly. Redstone block, not an improvement. Not really a... Uh, like, just... Yeah. Either way, like, it doesn't really look better. It doesn't look worse. It's just different. Uh, nether quartz kind of looks alright, but I'm not a fan of the nether texture. I think the way it looks like a block with like quartz in compared to the regular nether texture, very well done. Just not a fan of the texture. Um, the hoppers, yeah, they're kind of alright. I can I can live with that. <laughs> uh, then we've got hardened clays. They look exactly the same as before to my eyes. If they've made them slightly different, they're already very soft, so that's pretty cool. All right, quartz. Hello again. Uh, then we've got this one, the chiseled quartz block. 
I like that. Reminds me of the Eye of the Guardian. The pillar block looking good as well. And then they've got them rotated on all sides. Yeah, they're really good. It's got the iron pressure plate here looking all right. Uh, got some more crops growing. Carrots, yeah, that looks nice. And then over here we've got potato. That looks a little bit odd for a potato, I've got to say. It doesn't feel very potato-y, if you know what I mean. Uh, looks like we've got some buttons floating. Comparators, buttons, stairs, glass panes, things we've already seen. Uh, wood again. Hello, we've got some the tops of some of these flowers, the peony ones. I can never say that right. More daylight sensors. Um, is that packed ice? Yeah, I'm liking that. It's no longer light. If you remember what we saw of ice earlier, this is now pretty much the same tone. One is transparent, one is not. I actually prefer that. We've got the cold block, which is so much like the old one. I don't think we need to worry about it. And now my frames just got a little bit herky-jerky. And we're back. So we got carpets. We've seen those textures already. Hay bales. Um, that's all right. I would really like these without the red stripes in personally. That's that's not bad at all, is it? It's a very nice texture. Sea lantern. That's uh, just doled down a little bit. That's actually really nice. I think that's that's a good one. That's not quite as strong as before, but very appealing. I like these. These prismarine textures look great, don't they? Oh yeah, I'm on board with that. And this one will be animated. It will slowly change colour over time. We'll come back and look at that in a moment then. Um, so, iron trapdoors. Looking cool. Going down here. We're seeing some of the heads of the different plants in the game as well. That's pretty cool. Oh, goodness me. So much stuff to see. So much that we've already seen as well. Okay, then we've got trapdoors of all the different textures. Aha! This is something we haven't seen yet. The red sandstone. Pretty much like the sandstone, right? I like that. I like the uh, I like the color of it. It's very orange. It's called red sandstone, but it's very orange. And I think now we're getting to the end of this world because I'm seeing the doors here in all their different variations. We've got more command blocks up ahead. Ha! We've seen these all recently. And I like them all, actually. I like them all. I think the jungle one maybe is the ugliest. Well, or the ugly one because the rest are looking pretty cool. Alright then, uh, then we've got the chorus fruity stuff. We'll see that properly when we go to the end. That's going to make more sense when you see it as a full thing grown in the world. What is this here? I can't middle click on it. Uh, path block kind of looks alright. It'll be interesting to see how that works when it's surrounded by blocks. Because of course, as you can see here, the path block changes when there's other things around it. I think that works. A little bit darker than I remember. Got some crops growing over here. That was beetroot that I uprooted. Ah, now that is interesting hmm hmm that's all I'm gonna say hmm not so sure what I think of that that's that's kinda cool looks a little bit more rustic that's the word maybe just a tinge of rustic going on there um, so yeah purple looks pretty cool so let's whiz down to the end here ah the observer block well this one's got a face uh, kinda looks oh did I just make oh I'm making things appear people I'm using my magic. Shulker boxes. Right. When you look at them, they appear. This is a very dodgy world. <laughs> this is not the resource pack, by the way. This is just because I've copied the debug world, which seems to be slightly broken. Um, so it looks like the shulker textures are pretty much the same, just slightly different. Uh, this one, though, I'm liking that. That's all right. The, the top's a little bit silvery, I think. Uh, bone blocks. What have you done to our precious bone blocks, Jasper? No! Change them back immediately! I do not like that. I do not like that at all. That made me angry. No, I'm joking. Uh, they look very much like before. Cool. Ah, now actually, here's a thing. We're get uh, that, that hasn't changed. We're getting to textures that are so recently added, they might not even bother changing them. Yes! Yes! That is from Vanilla Tweaks, people. You saw it here. That is from... I don't like the way the rod is now slightly pinkish, but the grey around the bottom, that is a Vanilla Tweaks thing. I told you what you saw Vanilla Tweaks, jeez. Uh, I'll, I'll shut up now. Right. That is alright. More the same, really, with the purple, isn't it? Oh, now that is that is something, that chorus flower right there. It's quite bright and white. Um, so, we've got command blocks looking pretty cool. And then we have more invisible shulk boxes. We've got terracotta blocks over here. And they haven't changed at all because they were so recently added. Did I whiz past this? This is our frosted ice, I believe, which I can't middle click. And it in its different stages, which looks really cool, actually. That'll probably look very nice when animated. So as we whiz down to the end of the world here, I believe we have seen everything. These are the concrete blocks recently added, so they're probably not going to 
have their textures changed. What about the powders? Um, are they slightly different? I'm not sure. Also, is each one unique? Because you would have suspected that they just took the, the texture and changed the colour. I actually think, yeah, the various details on the block are unique to each block. Huh, something I didn't notice before. Right, well, that's it. We've gone through the debug world. Jeez, that took a bit of time, didn't it? Right, now we're going to go to, I don't know, whatever's next. The mobs, I think, was next. Well, the barrier block text hasn't changed. Uh, we're going to look at passive animals, first of all. And the reason I made this out of barrier blocks is so we can look at their undersides. Now, don't make silly jokes in the comments down below. Jeez, we, the, the textures are on... Oh, goodness me. Textures are on all sides. That is bonkers. That's a really big change, that one. All right, so we've got a pile of pile of creatures, and I'll, I'll let you make up your own minds about this. Oh, yeah, of course you would. Of course you would. Um, <laughs> this is this feels a bit weird, this bit, but uh, yeah, just wanted to check out all the sides of these. The cow's face doesn't look like it's changed at all. Just wanted to say that the, the, the rest of it, yes, but but not his face. The reason I had this in mind is because I saw a tweet from Simply Sark saying that the pigs still had nipples. <laughs> and I, if, if you think those pixels are nipples, then I guess it does. Yeah, the pig looks alright. I think we're going to get used to these textures quite quickly, the most of them. Parrots, off they go, flying, flying away. We want to look at you, but you're trying to get away. Pretty much look like the same thing as before, right? A lot of these textures are just going to be subtle changes. Alright, so the polar bear... Hmm... It's all right. <laughs> Got the rabbit down here. There's lots of different types of rabbit, but these ones will all be yellow because of the biome that we're in. Got a sheep over here, a black sheep, a white sheep, a brown sheep. What sheep do you want to be? There's loads of them. Awesome. <laughs> uh, a squid, which will die immediately. That looks very, very similar to the texture from before, doesn't it? Cool. <laughs> Uh, this is a very strange video, isn't it? Random blocks in, in a yellow world and a platform full of mobs. The villagers! Let's check them out. Ah, they, they, I, I've got to be disappointed. They, they're they kind of pretty much like they were before. And they haven't really been given any new robes or anything like that to wear, have they? And then we've got the wolf, which is going to go after the sheep, right? Going to turn into an angry wolf with those red eyes. Oh, look at them. Did you see it? Oh, Oh, they look evil. Jeez. Hold up, hold up. Let's get some of these. Right, now let's get a sheep. Yeah, they got crazy red eyes. <laughs> that llama is spitting at everyone. It's got an attitude, I tell you. And now it's gotten wrecked. <laughs> uh, this area is about to get a lot weirder. First of all, bats. I mean, kind of hard to look at because they're just going to fly away, right? Ah. Hardly noticed that change. The blaze! Wow, looking a little bit more golden in a weird way. A bit more golden than yellow. That's alright. Cave spider. Interesting, interesting. Sometimes I don't have too many words for this. You're not allowed to change this texture. The, the, this one you're not allowed to change. That's, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, Elder Guardian. You've changed, haven't you? That looks really nice, that one. I like the spikes. The spikes are looking cool. Uh, Enderman. Oh, it spawned you off the edge, didn't I? Yeah, pretty much the same thing as before, right? Those little black lines have probably changed ever so slightly. The Endermite is spinning around. That looks identical to before. Uh, the Evoker is having fun spawning some Vexes for us to check out. You don't look different in the slightest. Uh, the newest mobs might have not changed at all, is a thing to consider. Uh, then we've got the Ghast. <laughs> Oh, and all hell, all hell is breaking loose around here. Here we go again. We've got the Guardian looking slightly softer as it runs away. <laughs> That's alright. Uh, we've got the husk over here looking a little huskier than usual. Is, 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 did you get the joke? Uh, magma cubes looking pretty much the same as before. Got a shulker. That doesn't look like it's changed in the slightest, the shulker. Maybe the inside of it, if it's going to open its head and say hello. Uh, silverfish. Mm, not sure too much of a change there. Uh, then we got the skeleton. That definitely has changed. Looks a little bit rougher, if I might say so myself. And of course, it's going to set itself on fire. Um, skeleton horse. Yep, that's, that's that thing. Got a slime here as well. 
I think the slimes are very much like the slime block, right? Like some of the squares are just a little bit more noticeable than usual. And then we've got the spider, which has been retextured and looking pretty much like the regular spider. Just a little bit different. I've seen this sucker pop its head out and uh, no change by the looks of it. Uh, there is the stray. Try not... Try to look at me. Try not to set on fire. <laughs> the Vindicator, that... Mm, actually, no. The leggings look slightly different. A little bit more stripey going on there. We've got a witch looking pretty much the same as the, the original witch. Nothing drastic going on here. The Wither Skeleton, a little bit more contrast on the side at the front there. Yeah. A little bit more noticeable. That probably will be in the Never. Cool. Then we've got the regular zombie, which is going to burn. Looking slightly different from how it looked before, I guess. The zombie horse. I can't even remember what that looked like. I think that one has changed as well. Zombie pigment has definitely changed. And I like it. Some of these, though, most of the mobs, the changes are very, very subtle. Not making any big uh, decisions. And then we've got the zombie villager. Of course, there are many varieties of this. And they're all going to get set on fire. You know, it'll be better at night time to check out these mobs. And, of course, they're going to run away straight away. So there are some of the different zombie villagers for you. And you know what's next? We're going to spawn a wither. That's right. <laughs> uh, the wither texture's definitely changed. Oh, that is a lot bluer and brighter than I remember it being. And now it's going to attack everything in sight, isn't it? And the dark wither as well is looking generally just a little bit brighter. Here is the wither boss at daytime with no AI. It's looking alright. You know, it's changed slightly. It's trying to look like the same mob. I just kind of prefer the original texture because it was a little bit darker overall. So now we get to check out what the texture pack looks like in the natural Minecraft world. And generally taking a step back from it, it still looks like Minecraft, doesn't it? When you get a little bit closer, some things just kind of hit you differently from what you're used to. The stone texture um, just, I don't know, something about it pops out a little bit more. It's not quite as soft as it used to be. Um, but that's, you know, that's something you'll get used to. The leaves up here looking fantastic. Really, really big fan of the leaves. I think those were probably textures that could have always have been better. Uh, when you see it like this, though, and there's lots of them on the screen at once, they can be a bit much. But the further the way they are, they kind of just become green, like a blend of green. So we've got a little bit of a birch forest going on over here. We've got a dark oak forest over here with some mushrooms, some naturally spawned ones sort of popping out as well. And there was a plains biome near here as well and it all looks really good so far I think the jungle biome is the one I'm most interested in um, so let's check out this plains biome again just pretty much feels like the same old game right the chickens are slightly different but overall it's kind of the same thing here we have a desert the dead bushes look great the cactuses are awesome the dominant color that kind of emerges as you look into the distance is a little bit stronger I think the last one was a little bit more pale, and I think this is just going to be a case of getting used to it. It's not the, the worst thing ever. Behind us, we have a bit of the savanna biome, just a tiny bit here. The leaves look cool. Um, those are probably my least favorite of all of the leaves, but they still look really good. And then just over here, we've also got a village desert, and yuck. Uh, that sandstone just don't look right to me. That don't look right at all. <laughs> Uh, the crops look fantastic. Really like the, the red on the beetroot down there. That's looking really cool. We've got some villagers over here hanging out in the area looking like, you know, good old villagers. So yeah, the sandstone, not keen on that. The cobblestone, absolute yuck. Uh, also, I don't know what happened here, but it didn't happen very well. <laughs> That's one thing I will say. So we got the spruce, the jungle, and the mega taiga all together here. Uh, the mega taiga... Looking alright. I think these ferns, the edge of the colour is, is bright and it just pops out so much. Really not keen on that, how they look together there. Mossy cobble is fantastic. Don't like the cobblestone texture though. We know that. We know that. The gravel down here looking pretty good. So I, I quite like the gravel where I've seen it so far. Uh, going into the spruce biome over here. Well, actually, it's still just part of the Mega Tiger. Uh, the spruce leaves look awesome. The jungle te leaves and the jungle textures... Um, the jungle leaves look cool, but they're very green and bright, and it's kind of noisy when you look around. Again, this might just be something you get used to, but I don't know. It feels kind of noisy and repetitive, because there's a lot going on in that texture, right? And then you just see it over and over again, and it looks kind of crazy. 
Now we have uh, the swamp biome looking extra swampy. The leaves here look cool. Nothing too much changed. The lily pads, we didn't see that earlier, did we? Mm, that line down the middle don't work for me. <laughs> looks really odd. Uh, the mushrooms, the mushrooms even as well, they don't look too great there. Uh, but otherwise, the swamp's looking alright. The vines are really good. They they fall off the leaves really well. They kind of mix with the leaves well as, as well. As well. <laughs> uh. Alright, snowy biomes and the ice spikes biome here just looking a little bit too clean and plasticky for me. Yeah, I, was, I said this before, didn't I, that the tealness in there don't work for me. And actually, the, the packed ice here, not looking so great. There might be a little bit of ice around here, regular ice. I think I see some where it's frozen over or, or not, in the case of that bit of water. And that's looking alright. I like that bit here, but the packed ice doesn't look so great in large quantities. And hey, I'm lagging again. Jeez. So the Mesa biome looks quite similar. The, the tops areas here are looking very soft though. Wow, actually when you see that repeated over and over again, it is a very soft texture. The leaves up here I think look really good when they're dark like that. If those were bright green like in a jungle, not so keen on that. Um, this is a little bit repetitive looking. It kind of looks like the texture don't rotate. And then down here we've got loads of the orange or, or the red sand, which yeah, it's, it's all right. It, um, Again, the contrast, the, the contrast is a bit much. There's there's quite a bit of like brighter little spots and darker ones as well. Overall, it kind of works, um, but that's that's the Mesa biome for you, I guess. The mushroom biome is a crazy looking place because these fellas got massive mushrooms on their head. Otherwise, mycelium texture kind of looking all right. I think a lot of these textures are just about getting used to seeing it. Because they kind of look like they repeat over and over again, like quite boldly. But that's just because it's new, I guess, and noticeable. Um, mushrooms looking all right. Yeah, I'm a much, much more of a fan of this than I am that. But there you go. So that's what a mushroom island looks like. Aha! Here we have uh, an ocean monument, which I am looking at with night vision. So that does sort of, to some extent, change the experience. Yeah, and it's very underwatery and kind of hard to tell what's going on, isn't it? But as we go inside, this is really nice. I think the prismarine textures have turned out really, really good. And I think we've seen all of them except dark prismarine, right? And dark prismarine, is it here inside the building somewhere? I know there's gold blocks in here. They're going to look ugly inside of this thing. Aha! Dark prismarine. And behind it, gold blocks. They, they are the worst. So here we are in the nether, just checking out what this environment feels like. And I'm not a fan of the netherrack and the obsidian particularly. But when they are grouped together in this environment, it does kind of feel alright. Um, the the, the pigmen look at home here. That's good. That The lava texture hasn't changed, right? Or maybe it's changed ever so slightly. I'm not sure. But the nether, ah, it's always been a kind of ugly place. And I feel like it looks uglier in a bad way, to be fair. Um, soul sand, oh, I just think this looks awful. <laughs> uh, not trying to be mean or anything like that. I can't do textures, you know. Uh, I'm not saying I can. The nether quartz is kind of cool. And there was a ghast out here a moment ago as well. What we should really look for, though, is a nether fortress. And there it is, a nether fortress. Looking as dark and evil as they always do, really. The nether brick texture hasn't changed a crazy amount. And I could hear blazes a second ago. There we go. I think we just found a blaze spawner. Nice. Of course, the blaze spawner has a new texture. It's looking cool. And so does the blaze. Doesn't It sort of looks a little bit friendlier, the blaze, which is kind of odd. The stronghold looks fantastic. These textures are awesome. It really works in here. And the end portal frames have changed a little bit as well. That texture there is pretty much as the same as I remember it. Let's hop on in and go through to the end. The end stone here kind of looks alright. The way it repeats looks a little odd. I think, again, maybe it's just a little too much contrast on it. Um, but it's one of those things. You'll get used to seeing it, right? The obsidian towers look cool. What do they look like with the iron bars? That thing hasn't changed. That's the same. Although, actually, I think the block in the middle, the texture is slightly different. Let's get in there. Also, the Ender Dragon. Has that changed? Yeah, I think they've changed that a little bit. Let's check out the Ender Dragon. How how different do you look? Not very different. You're, you're also going to be awkward and 
and move around and stuff, aren't you? Of course you would be. Of course you would be. Here we go. It's really hard to tell. <laughs> it is really hard to tell if it's changed at all. Alright, here we are out in the end islands. The chorus plant looks pretty cool. I like that. The Enderman look at home. We've got a end city over here. It's a big one. <laughs> it's a big one. These textures, yeah, I think they work together kind of well. In fact, they look really nice. The end rods, I like the grey bit, but I'm not too keen on how it gets a little bit sort of pinkish, like a fleshy kind of colour. Um, and all in all, that's looking pretty good, isn't it? Let's let's go check out some shulkers in their natural habitat. Here's one. I mean, I'm pretty sure the shulker texture hasn't changed at all, has it? And that's the end city. And that's pretty much like most of the stuff there is to see. What we haven't done, though, is gone through all of the items. Last but not least, we need to look at all the items in the game. And, of course, we can go into the menu and look at them all one by one. These are all the building blocks, though, so we've seen them all before. But we're kind of seeing them again in item form. I mean, I'm scrolling back and forth. There's, there's too much to look at all at once, right? But here are some of the items. What ones haven't we seen so far? These are, again, all things that you can just place down in the world. So we've actually seen most of that. We didn't see all of the different bed colours, though. Uh, let's place a couple of those down on the grounds, and I don't... Well, we kind of saw the head types through looking at the uh, the different mobs, didn't we? That, the end crystal right there, that's a cool item. That looks really awesome. Oh, this means that the never stars changed as well. Yeah, the beds are alright, aren't they? Okay, so into redstone. There's redstone dust. Um, there's the icons for the, re the repeater and the comparator, which are, of course, different to the block. The redstone torch looks identical. Tripwire hook kind of blends into the background a little bit. Uh, the hopper looks nice. And the doors, I think, have changed. Oh, sorry, it stayed the same. Yes, right. On to transport. Wow. Minecarts. Big difference there. Same for the saddle. Uh, these have got too much of a border around them. I remember they changed a lot of textures a while back to remove borders. And, and, and here they are again. So those are all of those. The elytra looks nice. That's cool. Uh, into miscellaneous. This is now what diamonds look like. Uh, I, I, I just can't imagine it with diamonds looking different, you know. Here's our ingots. Not really keen on those. I, the old ones are so classic. That's the problem. You change them, it doesn't feel right. Uh, coal and charcoal are okay, I guess. Um, what else have we got? It's snowball. Now, why is that the same colour as a diamond? <laughs> That's just bizarre. The buckets look a little too big. The items, I think, is where I'm most torn between these new and old textures. I'm not keen on a lot of these, really. The dyes look very nice. They, they totally work. Glowstone dust kind of looks like something from modded Minecraft now. The slime ball is looking okay-ish, I guess. The bones, quite different. Um... Hmm, those, those haven't changed. The blaze rod looks the same. The ender pearl, very slightly different. And the nether wart looks the same as well. And I think all of these have stayed the same. We were, we were sort of looking at those earlier in a way. Bottle of enchanting there, fire charge. Emerald's kind of alright. The nether star looks cool. I like the nether star, I think that's a very nice change. Quartz is totally different, look at that. That is a very different texture. And uh, the prismarine crystals look less crystally. Rabbit hide looks a little bit more like a rabbit hide. Those haven't changed. Neither of the discs. This stuff here looks really good. That The changes to the end textures look good. A little bit of a harsh outline on that one again, though. And the broken disc looks a little more interesting. That one has changed, hasn't it? The rest of them are the same. Or maybe they've had very slight changes, but that one's definitely different. So I'm not keen on the ingots. You can't change the diamond, though. Like, changing the diamond is just bizarre. <laughs> uh, the apple sort of looks alright. I mean, oh, some of these textures are just so iconic, and now they look so different. I could live with most of these. The golden apple's sort of alright. The fish are okay. The puffer fish looks pretty much the same. The cake's got a nice texture. What are these things? Poisonous potatoes. They look like peanuts. <laughs> uh, melon. Well, not that one, but that one there. Baked potato. Kind of look like a peanut to me. Uh, yeah. So there are all of those textures, and that one's really nice, the pumpkin pie one. Uh, onto the tools. Tools are all the same, except flint and steel. That one has definitely changed, and shears kind of look a bit odd, but, you know, getting used to new changes. There's the new name tag. The enchanted books kind of look all right, I guess. Uh, into this category, none of the armor and stuff has changed, nor of the arrows. Totem of Undying has totally changed, and there's the shield. And then into potions. These potions look fantastic. I think they look really, really nice. 
They look much more inviting and interesting. Uh, the ingredients as well. That looks a little bit odd, but when placed in the world, it looked really good. Glistering melon over there. Golden carrot looks ridiculous. Uh, yeah, these potions are really nice, actually. I think they're good. The bottle's more kind of rounded and looks more potiony. That's actually everything then, isn't it? So we've gone through, we've looked at all of the blocks, we looked at the mobs, we looked at things in the world, and there's probably like one or two things that I missed that you're going to comment on, and you're more than welcome to. Uh, but that's going to be it for me this video. There's something flying up in the sky. Yes, yes there is, isn't there? I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, leave a like on the video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.